Okay. I learned this. I wanted to share it. It's from Dr. K from Healthy Gamer GG, but I added a lot to it, so we're gonna go, okay? Okay, so there's a couple things I wanted to get into before it won't make any sense. First, you can't control your emotions. And to give an example of why you can't control your emotions, I'm gonna, have you heard of Bridezillas? Have you met those people? Have you heard of those people? Like, they want the perfect wedding, and like every little thing has to be like perfect on the wedding. And they like, they almost have like panic attacks for like, like, oh my God, the flowers, they're not white, they're eggshell. I'm gonna die, <laughs> you know? I don't know, this is like a meme, like call them bridezillas. So, but like with the bridezilla, do you think getting the perfect wedding translates to getting a perfect marriage? If the wedding was 10% more perfect, would their marriage be 10% more perfect? If the wedding was 10% less perfect, would their wedding be 10% less perfect, you know, 10% less happy? No. You see, like, no matter how perfect the wedding is, they could have a good or a bad marriage. They could be happy or sad, you know, it doesn't matter. And that's because fulfilling, fulfilling your desires leads to temporary satisfaction. And it's the same thing with happiness. Like, you're happy in the moment. You're sad in the moment. You can't control like when you're happy, you can't control when you're sad, and it just comes and it goes, okay? It's, it, it's not even worth chasing because it just happens. Now, does that mean that you can't do anything to influence your mood, happy or sad? No. And let, let me give an example which is easier to recommend. Sleep, okay? Let me ask you, can you fall asleep? Maybe like, yeah, I can fall asleep, but like, can you? Like, like here, let me ask you, let me ask you. <clears throat> Drop and give me eight hours of restful sleep. Now, drop, go. REM sleep, REM, go, 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 fall asleep right now. <laughs> yeah. You see, are you sleeping? No. No, because you can't sleep, right? Yeah. If I were to say drop and give me 10 push ups, you know, whether or not that's, that's something you could work towards, you know, you could theoretically, you know, push out 10 push ups. Yeah. But no matter how much you want it, no matter how much willpower you put into it, you can't, you can't just drop, drop and give me eight hours of rest, sleep, you know? No. But you can, you can influence it though. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is you could set everything up. You could turn off the lights. You could crawl in your bed. You can crawl in the most comfortable bed. You can get the most comfortable sheets. You could put on your pajamas. You could have your little sleeping tea. You know, maybe like you like rain, whatever works for you. You know, and you could, you could lay down. You could close your eyes. You could not move. You can clear your mind. And then if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you do all of that. And if you're lucky, sleep happens to you. You don't fall asleep, sleep happens to you. It's really important to understand, okay? You can't be happy. I can't say like, be happy, be happy, be happy. And like, you can't willpower you're happy. You can set everything up and if you're lucky, happy. If you're lucky, happy happens to you. You can take a bite of your favorite food. You can hang out with people you like, you know? And then if you're lucky, happy happens, you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the same, you know, you can't willpower your emotions and they're temporary, and, you know, and your emotions, they come and go, okay? So I just want you to kind of understand that. So I'll sleep. But you're like, you can't control your emotions and they're temporary. Well, there's four exceptions. And I think, I think I've discovered the four exceptions. These are the only emotions you can control. And again, all other emotions you have no control of. So maybe, maybe this, we can use this to our advantage, okay? Now, the body is the easiest to understand. It's because it's the most accessible. Like, look, I can pinch it. So we're going to start there. There's this concept of pain and pleasure. And don't don't overthink it. Does it feel bad or does it body? feel good? Uh, to the body. You know? The body is easy, I guess, to some aspects of the mind. But it's most, I think this, I think this is very much like a body thing. Pain and pleasure. So this is like, over here is like a very hedonistic lifestyle. People who like seek in the pleasure moments. Like their entire life is just in pursuit of feeling good in the now and like regardless of anything else so like you know like drugs sex rock and roll sugar reddit tiktok videos pinterest mm -hmm. sugar chocolate pick your poison that's literally like pick pick your poison is made for the heathenistic people that mm -hmm. live for pleasures you know mm -hmm. very surface level pleasures and you know then the opposite like your favorite food is over here your least favorite food is over here getting a nice hug is over here Getting punched in the face is over here, you know? 
You know, so this is pain and pleasure. You know, so, so horizontally is the body. And you can't. I, they're opposites. Yeah. What the. It's very hard to feel. I, I would. I would argue it's impossible. But maybe I'm wrong. It's very. It's impossible to feel painful about something and pleasure about something, like about the same thing. Maybe you can feel. You can feel pain and pleasure about different things at the same time. Like, I like this person's personality, but when they punch me, <laughs> it makes me feel pain. You know. Mm -hmm. But like those are those are like different things. You know. So they're, they're opposites. So understand they're opposites. So you can't feel pain and pleasure about the same thing at the same time. Now this is the more complicated one. There's stillness of the mind and there's non-stillness of the mind. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to use the wrong word for a second, but it's just because I don't have the vocabulary. But stick with me. So stillness of the mind is kind of like peace and non-stillness of the mind is kind of like suffering. But again, it's not... Don't, don't, so it's not happy, remember, emotions like happy, sad, you can't control. These you can't control. So you can have, you can have stillness of the mind and be happy or sad. You can have non-stillness of the mind and be happy or sad. But peace and suffering. So when we think of stillness of the mind, have you like, have you like seen the stereotype like of those monks and they're sitting there like crisscross applesauce like, oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Like, when they're doing that, do you imagine there's, like, a bunch of thoughts going in their head, like, man, what am I going to have for lunch? Oh, my God. I really do like chicken nuggets, but chicken nuggets are, like, kind of expensive. Plus, like, I don't want to go out for chicken nuggets, you know, because I have, like, I have, like, better food at home, healthy food at home. But chicken nuggets have so many calories. Also, like, you know, like, really, there's a lot of carbs in chicken. Like, do you think when they're doing the old, no, there's, like, the a... No, that's the goal is to clear your mind. There's, like, a billion thoughts in there? The, no, no, the it's, like... The goal is still this of mind. Clear your mind, yeah. Okay. So what happens is we all have some stillness of the mind. The question is for how long, okay? So your mind is still, your mind is still. And then no matter what, because we're human, your mind is gonna be not still for a second. But then you have two choices, like still. That's fine, that's fine, come on. So you see, you have two choices. When something happens, because we're human, something's gonna happen. Oh, oh, your brain is gonna be like nuggets. And then you have a choice. You can be like, man, nuggets have a lot of calories. I really want nuggets, but they're so expensive. And I have food at home. Plus, nuggets have a lot of carbs. But damn, nuggets are so freaking good. McDonald's nuggets are awesome, but they have even more calories. <sighs> man, it's just so hard to like eat healthy nowadays. I just can't fucking believe it. It's like the whole world is against me. It's impossible to eat healthy, you know, when you have so many nuggets. Or, you, know, like, you, you can like spiral. That's my point. Or you can be like, oh, oh, nuggets. Not right now. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna think about nuggets right now. Oh, oh, nuggets. I'll think about food when I get home. Oh, oh. So what happens, this, that stillness of the mind, you see like how much more like calm you are? Mm -hmm. And again, it's not about happy or sad, it's just like, you're like at peace. You're like, you're like oh, oh. And again, you're gonna, you're gonna break out no matter what. You can't stop the breaking out occasionally. But what you, you can do is control how you act. So when you break out, is it like, oh. Are you gonna be like hmm. you see like you can choose to in like when you break out for a second you can choose to indulge that and you know kind of keep spiraling spark you know or you can choose to like no I will my stillness of mind is important to me you know so when that happens You know? So this little spiral is the non-stillness of mind. And then, where did the marker go? Let me show you. So now that we understand what it is, let me show you. We confuse stillness of the mind with pleasure. So, like for me, I'm supposed to be studying for my test. 
But this morning I was just in my bed watching uh, like TikTok videos. Because TikTok is a really good distraction. It makes me feel pleasure in that moment, like my dopamine rush. So what happens was I'm seeking for stillness of the mind. And what would make my mind less anxious, you know, more still? What would make my mind more still is probably like studying for the test so I feel more confident about mm -hmm. the test, you know, and I stop worrying about it. But because I confused stillness with pleasure, I was like, I'm just going to distract myself, you know? I'm going to distract myself heading this way, but what happens is I end up wasting a bunch of time, you know? So at the end of the day, I feel even more anxious and my mind is less still. My mind is more turbulent. So look, I'm heading in the direction of pleasure, but I'm heading away from stillness towards non-stillness. And then so I would call non-stillness And again, like you could be happy or sad, but like this, this turbulence is like suffering versus up here is peace. So because I was chasing pleasure, like a heathen, I was heading away from what I actually wanted. And then now that I'm able to recognize that these are different, I can, I, you know, as I'm watching my, my Pinterest, my YouTube videos, my alcohol, you know, pick your poison. As I'm doing whatever poison, I can ask myself, is this doing the thing that I want to do? Do, am I seeking pleasure or am I seeking stillness? And it's total, don't get me wrong, if you want to seek pleasure, it's your life, do whatever you want. But I'm saying make an educated decision. No, there's a difference. You know, is the thing actually going in the direction you want to go? You know? So can you have pain and stillness of mind? So for example, um, women that give childbirth, very painful. But you know, you ask some of them and they'll say like, like would you do it again? And they're like, yeah, totally. And some women do do it again. They do it two, three, four times, you know? So I would say that's somewhere up here, between pain and stillness of the mind, you know? Childbirth. Because, you know, to them it's like, you know, having a kid is like something they agree with, like it makes their mind still. And then you could have the opposite, you know? Like this is like, I think non like suffering and pleasure is like heathenistic stuff, like drugs, sex, rock and roll. It doesn't have to be, but like... You can pick be. your poison. Yeah. You know, you could have things which do stillness of the mind and pleasure. Like, you know, you can go, like, on a family vacation. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there's healthy things you enjoy do doing, you know? Mm -hmm. And then there's totally, like, pain and suffering. You know, like, I don't know. What's, there, shit, you cut, of, get physically hurt. A lot of traumatic shit happens, you know? Yeah. And you, you end up in this direction. Mm -hmm. But I think it's very important. Try to, try to be aware of what direction do you want to go in. And is do your actions in line with that direction. And if you're confusing stillness of the mind with pleasure, just be, you know, try to be aware of that, you know? Mm -hmm. All right.